What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to run off happened last time, the main effort was the successful capture of Rome, forcing the Spanish back to one last province, which is up here in Iceland, where our forces so, are waiting <clears throat> to lay siege to their final region. And this army was having some problems in actually deploying. So we are going to have to try something a bit different because it was quite peculiar. Its navy would not deploy its forces on the island. Um, but anyway, we also are now at war with the Ottomans, so I have forces down here in the Baltic, uh, the Balkan region, heading east, ready to do battle with the Ottomans. We also have some, some reinforcements moving in. Um, they have a stack right around here that was heading towards Belgrade, but I think I've headed them off with this arm under um, Evan Carpenter, and if I don't, my garrison force is enough to, to hold them off. Uh, this army under Joseph Strachey is also going to head east, or southeast, to head towards Istanbul, because it's the final thing to pop um, of the Ottomans. It's the last territory they've got. Well, they do have Bulgaria, but ultimately what value is Bulgaria? We have captured Moldavia. That was last turn as well, I think, or turn before. Have we got garrison troops? We do have garrison troops being recruited here. Excellent, and we're also laying siege to Warsaw. We are also, on a similar net, similar vein, uh, gathering our forces to be ready to hit the to hit the Prussians. We've got two armies coming in from the west. I want to move this army in to, to take this bridge and provide a threat to the west, to the east, sorry. But this is going to be quite a cataclysmic battle. So they've got a battle up here against the Prussians, the battle here against the Ottomans, a battle here against the Prussians... Uh, with some of my forces from Italy and a battle here against the French. So if I can knock the French out, then this will end them, remove them from the campaign, and also make conquering the American the Americas a lot simpler. So let's bring these guys down here. They're almost ready. Let's recruit. Let's make it a church school so we can start trying to spread some. Protestantism through the region, so let's move them onto Genoa. If Turin's going to already have a religious school to convert them, let's keep spending money on the Italian armies to get them back into shape because ultimately all of these guys are then going to be forced and fired at these islands. Obviously, it depends on the level of uh, security that some of these regions have when it comes to losing their garrison troops. And we've still got these armies up here ready to strike northward. So we are going to hit the Swedish, going to hit Norway <clears throat> and Copenhagen simultaneously. But I would like the Prussians to be knocked out first. So we've got kind of a, a clean front to drive eastward. I don't think there's anything left to do at the minute. Everyone's already sent on the task. Let's hit end turn. Oh yeah, my agents are already trying to assassinate uh, religious ministers. And see the French are on the move. It would very much be my preference. Well, I don't know. Maybe do I move on the French first? Because I'll at least keep get things moving again in the Americas rather than just having that one stack plodding its way up to New Mexico. Uh, Mexico City, I should say. Ooh, Marathon Garrison Force. They are probably going to hit Baghdad, so we need to make sure that Baghdad's suitably garrisoned. Or chase them down with my naval, naval forces and try and annihilate them. That is also another option. Opportunity to intercept. Gonna hit an auto resolve there because my garrison point. forces. Undefeated. Good. Yeah, they're being intercepted by my garrison forces because my main forces had no movement points left. Yeah, it's gonna be a f it's gonna be a big old slog against the Russians in the f in the end game. If I can knock the Ottomans out, ultimately lots of my forces will be diverted towards the the Indias. We'll say lots, maybe about five stacks of troops, probably. Hit the Persians and start fighting the Indians on their turf. 
then probably recruit some more forces from um, Ceylon to hit to start doing some coastal invasions. No. You want me to give you 150,000? No, we like you, but you hate us. Bear on me, I'm fat. I want also more well, my forces in, in Iceland. They're going to be ready to jump on Norway. See, if they really want to convert <laughs> that region. They must be having um, political problems or religious problems with that region. Because if they don't convert that to, you know, Orthodox Christianity, immediately then something's really, really wrong. Mm -hmm. There's definitely something to be said to knock out the Spanish too. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Not going to upgrade them because they'll end up just getting uh, raided from the Ottomans. I'm giving I'll be giving them nice tempting bait. Ready for action. Bullet or a knife. Choices, choices. More ministers. Naples. Replenish, replenish, replenish. Lots of industry buildings. Perfect. That's exactly what you want for late game economy. Trade is brilliant, but the real gains are in your tax base. Am I converting parish yet? Nope. It's frustrating. I deploy this army yet Chips finally Make ready. They are trapped. we are going to fight them we are going to assault the Reykjavik down the Spanish Empire knock them out of the game once and for all then as I said before those armies are going to be holding Iceland ready for the inevitable war against Sweden and they will move and they will strike Norway Two full stacks should be enough. I know the AI likes to like that. But I'm feeling pretty happy. So let's aim for two breaches. To be honest, I'll still aim for aim for two breaches, three units per breach, and then all the way on the flank hide my assault troops and my generals stand front and centre so then both in for a hole Deacons are firing quick lime so I'm more than happy just to let them fire so let's see where their first shots are I think you should at least split them up. Maybe I should do one, do round shot, and start dropping them in the center. One to do, one to pick off the units with click, quick climb, one to drop, drop shells in the center. Because look at that. Do percussion shells? No, percussion shells would be too far. Good, our guns are doing excellent work on this unit in the section of the wall. I want to watch how well these guys do when it comes to firing their round shot. Come on, lads. Coming. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it was the guy right. It was going right behind my general. Holy hell! Oh, first shots coming in. Round shots missed by the looks of it. Let's get my other artillery to spin around and fire at the next flank. Well, the next breach, <clears throat> next breach in sight. Probably put you on to quick climb and start shooting you at the guys that are about to cover the breach. Ah, my reinforcement. Just not run you up into into fire. Let's not be too silly. Come on. This is the right section. Fire! Aiming at the entirely wrong things. That was peculiar. More how it's a shots. It'd be super handy if you actually managed to destroy that section of the wall, but they're not. So they're definitely targeting that section of the fort. Good. Maybe now? Good. Finally. Three good volleys and that'll be that. They don't get shot in the back too much by their own artillery. Probably still did, yeah, they still did. Oh well. Don't know what to do, do you? So I definitely want a grenadier unit to run here and form square in front of the gate. Let's run you there. Let's take. We'll not run. Got time. Ooh. Oh, come on, one more. All those trapped units. Yes! Let's get them fire round shot and keep pounding the guys on the top. Here comes the artillery. Not the artillery, the cavalry. Because you are a bit stuffed now with all those guys up there. Can't destroy the section of the wall, but may as well keep them <clears throat> shooting up here. At least, at least it's a target. Let's run one Republican, one guard unit to cover that section of the wall. Guys moving forward. Let's get you to run there and then form a square, because here they come. Potentially not quite close enough, but close enough to interfere. 
guard mode on just in case all these guys die. <laughs> They're going to try and come out this way now. That's why you've got some garrison guards on their way. One square. the gatehouse. And the cavalry's going to get shot to pieces as soon as they leave the, foot, the protection of the walls. Good lads. Best protection is to just co is to get into good firing positions on the wall. That's where I want these guys to go more than anything. So look, that's tight up, covering them up nicely. The native bows. move up my infantry to begin firing onto the fort itself. It's not something I normally waste my time doing, but ultimately it's, I, think, I think this is going quite well. Because ideally these guys are climbing the, climbing the, uh, the grapplings, grappling hooks. They will then line up on the inner bank of the fort and then fire downwards into them. Form square again. I'm not going to let my grenadiers be slaughtered. So they will suffer some early luck. Good. So the advantage of having these elite units on the walls is they do get up there quicker. It's not usually by much, 188 compared to 225, but it's still another 40 odd guys. Should turn firewall off and turn firewall back on. Excellent. That's exactly what I want. So then they'll fire in and start picking off some of these cavalry. No, they're aiming at the general, mostly hitting the armory. Not so perfect. Dragoons have charged up. Go, you small unit grenadiers, you run in. Let's halt fire of the artillery. Heck, let's run these guys up onto the wall, up onto this section of gate and capture it. There we go, these are, these are exactly where I want troops. because I may as well. These 
going to do should be breaking for too long. So let's get these guys to start charging down the hill. It's getting to that point now where we may as well. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely break. And that is. Iceland captured and the Spanish removed. Bloody stupid phone. D bloody delicious. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Sorry, Mexico. <laughs> I completely forgot that was going to happen. Okay. Minor nation, Mexico. You're indifferent, but. Declare war. Bring my ships. Okay, and let's make sure I'm definitely not putting these guys in a dodgy position. There's no navy I can use to reinforce them, but ha! There is one. Did you just do that, just to make sure they don't get jumped on? But they'll come straight over and hit Mexico. I completely forgot that happened. So I wonder if Louisiana will, will come into existence. Probably will. Your humble servant. So let's bring you, you it, over there. Let's replenish. Rebuild the parliament chambers. The road's good. Nave hospital. Steam drive. Right, destroy that. And destroy that. Because there's no point having military facilities here. At least not for my use. Okay, can you leave Genoa? I mean, I can turn off taxes, but it would still be better if I could just leave it a turn. There you go, like this. So you're ready to move... You've only got one, well, two depleted units, then you can move. Let's have a look at Milan. No, certainly not. Venice is probably a no. Oh, Venice is surprisingly lenient. Let's move you over to here. Sorry, sir. Anything more? Sir. So I want these three. Ready and waiting for. These three will move to hit Corsica. Doesn't mean betraying our last ally in the back. However, they're not that much of a good ally anyway. So let's do that. Finally, we are turning. Cancel alliance. Embark you onto the ships. Deploy you. Can I not deploy you anywhere? Oh wait, I've not declared war, have I? I've only cancelled. Declare war. Doesn't matter if I call allies or not. Cannot do that. Sound the call to battle. Where to, Captain? Good. We've got our first Where army embarked. Let's get you guys Boarding embarked. Oh, and can I deploy them anywhere nearby? I'm about harvesting supplies. Orders, Good. Set sail. Waiting further orders. And this last one. Waiting further orders. As I believe an overwhelming force in the proper American style. So let's pick you, sir. Wine range. 
No, I can't attack, but we'll be ready for next turn. Spot on. Okay, let's hit end turn and let's watch what the response is to that. Setting up camp. Rated. They're demanding me give them territory. No. They may cause trouble. Ooh. A proper battle battle. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it, I suppose. They were hiding this behind, weren't they? Well actually I say proper battle. A couple of these are damaged. But yes, we are gonna fight this naval action. Um but looking at the timer, that'll take me well over my, my timer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the part there, and then when you come back, I'll bring you back to this naval battle. Right here, guys. So Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time to fight this first battle against the French in 18... whatever... 17 whatever the year is. No, 18 something. I don't know what year this is now. Right here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.